Bix Medi to Medin or Presidic, the gentle sedative. It keeps patients calm without shutting down their drive to breathe. Compared to most other sedatives, respiratory depression is minimal. And what you get is cooperative sedation. Patients stay calm, often awake with that, but easily arousable and interactive if they are asleep. And here's a plus. The infusion can even be continued safely after extubation, as I said. So it doesn't just calm, it also adds a touch of analgesia. That's very important. So sedation and analgesia with Presidex. So it gives comfort along with sedation. Presidex is also a powerful tool in delirium management, especially, of course, hyperactive delirium. Think of it when you are faced with a combative delirious patient. And once you've ruled out re other reversible causes like hypoglycemia and abnormal vital signs. So typical IC infusion is 0 0.2 to 0 0.7 mcg per kg per hour. You can go up to 1. 0.5 mcg per kg per hour in select cases but higher doses mean higher side effects i usually avoid the loading dose it can trigger significant hypotension or bradycardia in unstable patients side effects to watch for hypotension hypertension bradycardia and tachycardia all these paradoxical effects can happen with a precedent bradycardia now particularly happens in about five percent of adults and if it does not resolve reduce or stop reduce the dose or stop the infusion rebound tachycardia and hypertension hypertension can occur after abrupt discontinuation so taper when possible and again no central line needed here a good peripheral IV works just fine